When we arrived at Corbin on Thursday night, we found all these fire firing trucks here. It had been really dry, but when we arrived, it rained, and then it rained, and some more. Hello, everybody. We just got back at about 1.30 this morning, and we took our trip to Kentucky. And yes, I took the van and I towed the tractor. Uh, I decided, well, we decided, I guess, that we wanted to be able to sleep in the van instead of in the tent because of what was going on with the temperatures uh, dropping. It's probably a good thing because it rained for two days straight. Uh, anyhow, the van actually pulled everything very well. Uh, we put this hitch on, the weight distribution hitch, and it lifts up, uh, lifts up the van well. Actually, we had no sway issues whatsoever. Now, that doesn't mean I'd prefer to drive it over the truck. I'd still, the truck weighs more but I had actually no pulling issues. But that's not what I want to talk to you about. Uh, we made a new dam breaker. I want to show it to you right here. This here is version one. Here's my plans that I started with, with version one. And then we move on to version two and I write down the problems that we had with version one and which we're trying to solve. And I think we, we, think we get that with version two. And uh, then we go on after this into version uh, three, but you can see how we changed the arm bracing and I'm going to show you what it looks like in real life here in just a minute. Difference in version two is there's now only two of the arms coming off from the center bracket. The, uh, they're all longer and the braces are now at a different angle so they can catch more. Or on that dam breaker, uh, I've got a modification to make, but uh, it works really well. We broke a dam. We also were able to get some beavers. So I hope you like the video and uh, be sure to subscribe. Take care and God bless. This is Angel's rain jacket. It's because we're so prepared for this camping trip. It's amazing how prepared we are. Hey, you trash bags are prepared. We brought trash bags. It rained and rained and rained both days. Uh, in the evening it stopped, but it was cold. Sometimes it would snow, but it was, it was definitely, this is, here is the dam. It's huge. Uh, actually standing on it, you can see it's about a 10 foot drop to the bottom. This cooler was entirely filled up by rainwater in one day. We were drying our clothes, but the rain can make it wet faster than the fire can dry them out. One thing nice about poplar is it sure burns easy and does pretty well even when it's wet. Why is it so hard to get these gloves on? And today we are cooking wood for lunch. Our friends George and Victoria came with us this time. They actually arrived a day early and they were teaching us about trapping beavers. It was a great time. Here's one of the trees where they just completely uh, cut down 15 inch tree or so and uh, just keep shaving and sharpening their teeth on this uh, tree. Nice wood chips though. Okay, looks like we caught a beaver. George set up his conibear traps okay. and they were very effective at getting uh, the beavers. One thing nice about them is they're basically an instant kill, much more humane than some of the other ones. But this one worked really well. This jacket. They slid into the uh, trap exactly like you were supposed to. This beaver turned out to be a pretty large beaver. I believe it was about 45 pounds, 45, 50 pounds or so. We set up lots of snares, but for some reason we were not able to catch any in the well, snares. Catches them quick. Kills them. Yeah, kill, kills them quick. Okay. <laughs> Hey, buddy. It's amazing that those teeth could cut down. Yeah, they're they very amazing. Well. Those teeth could cut down the yeah, those like trees. The big, big ones. And somehow he come around. But at the base of this, we had that trap, and that's what he stepped in. <laughs> yep. We caught the second beaver right over here. You can see him. 
and he's uh, he's alive. He's actually doing fine. He just got his foot caught in the trap. We are right up next to another dam, and we kept seeing their the mud where they were moving up and down between the two sections. Look at that. Just caught him by the back foot. Just barely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was just enough. Yep. He, he would have stepped in that going up. Yep. We thought maybe his first foot would have caught it. This whole section is matted down by the beavers. And this is where they run in. I'm actually on the opposite side. Never been over on this side, this close anyway to there. See how big it is. And the trees. Got one old poplar right there, just standing really tall. Okay. If you look carefully, you can see the people on the other side. Now, look at this. Lots of big holes here. Probably from the beavers. And the dirt's fresh. I scared a mallard. I didn't even know he was sitting there. Critter hole right there. And look. That tree is sawn. Wow, it was big. And it was sawn many years ago. You know, one thing I noticed is beavers like to pack with rock too. There's rock all through it. It's not just twigs. I think they'll use anything they can. Look how fresh that one is. You can see how much higher we are up here. I would say at least 10 foot. What the heck is that? It's a It's a ball. George is working on setting a trap here. We get the conibear traps set and then we have to guide the animal into it. Can you tell it's cold and rainy yet? You can see all the uh, steam come out, out of our gloves and out of the hat. All the clothes are steaming right now drying very quickly as long as they don't burn it's raining I did the newspaper this morning in the rain under a tent it's wet it's making hot water Look how fine the beavers can debark and sharpen these sticks. So I received lots of suggestions on making uh, version 2 better and version 3, and I want to share some of that with you right here. Some of the suggestions overlapped, but Avalon here says to increase the length of the main bar. So we did that, and also just increase the length of the talons altogether. So you can see that's what we're doing right here. It's retractable, so one bar will fit inside the other, and that way it doesn't take up a lot of space while we're traveling, but we can extend it.
Here we're adding a piece of pipe that we can use to press down and add more weight onto it. And we'll also include this shovel part of the grapple too. You'll see that coming up. That way it can catch some of the debris instead of let it slide through. Hopefully keep it uh, so it doesn't want to climb up and over. On here states that we should add some sharper points and uh, talons onto it. And so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to use uh, rebar and make some hook spikes. Here I'm putting in what we might call the shovel to keep the debris from uh, slipping through between the arms here. I think that works out pretty well. I love having the grinder and the welder. Uh, you can get so much done with this uh, small piece of equipment and it just works. It lets you take some of your ideas and turn them into reality. I can make lots of bright lights in my garage for our neighbors. It works out pretty well when you're at night and wanting to sleep. Actually, this is only like six o'clock though, so it's not really late. Won't be long now. We're gonna be testing this out. Hey, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for all the comments and help.